Greetings, Ooh. fellow carbon creatures. May your roots always be well watered. Oh. So, they're plants. Interesting. I'm Captain Zeljim from Earth. We come in peace. I am Captain Ala Lala. <laughs> we come in peace. Our starship is called Serenity. Our starship is called the Tender Shoot. <laughs> we are the United Federation of Worlds from Earth. We are the Supox Utricularia from Earth. From Earth? Hey, are you just copying whatever I oh, said? Oh, yes. We apologize for the confusion. Our home world is also called Earth. Really? Or more properly, Lek, which means perfectly oh. good and nutritious dirt. <laughs> Earth is pretty close, is it not? Uh, fair enough. Why do you copy our speech in memory? We learn and we adapt. We are symbionts. Hmm. Our first step in making friends it's always to copy them. This is our idiom. Fair enough. Tell us more. Our kind evolved on a beautiful planet, orbiting the wonderfully green-hued star roots. From the canopy of the great jungle to the shores of the azure sea, our species has flowered and grown well. <laughs> Early in our evolution, we adapted to exist in symbiosis with other hardier life, both flora and fauna, who supplied us with nutrients, while we supplied them with reproductive assistance. Oh. Uh, I shouldn't say that to them. Uh, are the Utwig friends of yours? Oh, yes. We have a strong cultural bond with the Utwig. They have been the foundation around which we have grown our star-faring culture. Really? We are not only allies, but we are also friends. You should go meet with them. They could use some excitement. Yeah, I've seen them already. You see, they are a little depressed and morose right now. Usually they are most festive and fun. Really? Uh, what's caused them such distress? They I know this. Broke. They're Ultron. Yeah, I know. What's an Ultron? The Druge, the cruel, foul trading race who sold the device to the Utwig, called the device the Ultron, and claimed that it would give the Utwig super power. Unfortunately, the Utwig believed the yeah. Druge and bought the Ultron. However, the device did make the Utwig very happy. <laughs> of course, we didn't tell them what we really thought of the Ultron. That they were vapid fools to buy a piece of junk for a planet's ransom. We went along with the falsehood, and in doing so showed our own stupidity. Then, one sad day a few years ago, the Utwig Proctor dropped the Ultron during a particularly energetic and festive ritual. Now the Utwig are morose and depressed. They feel they cannot ever achieve greatness because they lost the powers it of the Ultron. doesn't do anything, does it? They even gave the broken device to us, ah. saying that they couldn't stand the sight of it anymore. We are worried that the Utwig are so depressed that they may use their ultimate weapon. Here, you take yes. the Ultron. Maybe you can do something Excellent. with it. Excellent. Oh, yeah, I know. I fix it. Uh, thanks. I think. What should we I do with it? We thought that if we could get the Ultron working again, it would cheer them up. So we tried to figure out how to fix the darn thing, or at least get some of the flashing bits working again. <laughs> but for all the Druge's falsehoods. The Ultron is some kind of artifact, and we could not synthesize the necessary replacement parts. Mm -hmm. Perhaps on your journeys, you will find the elements necessary to repair the Ultron. Then you could give it to the Utwig, and maybe they wouldn't be so depressed. Maybe they'll give me the super bomb. Right, that's what I needed. Uh, so, let's see. How am I gonna fix it? Oh. There, it worked. I fixed it. <laughs> okay. 
Let's go back to Utwig's space. <laughs> Fucking brilliant. Just go away. No. Hey guys, guess what we've got? We've got the Ultron. Want to see it? Yeah. Should I set my gaze upon such a sight? No, 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 I might no, no, no. suffer sleepless nights for years on end. It is a symbol of the collective Ootwig failure. Not anymore. It is our ultimate tragedy. No, no, wait a minute. Let me... Ah, every divot, every crack on its surface is etched forever in my soul. No, if you just stop complaining Remove for a minute. It from I... my sight, lest I purge my. No, hey, listen. that is not the devastated Ultron. That's it right. is the image of the Ultron before a trick. A trick? No. Oh, I had no, no idea that any species could sink so low. How dare you try to manipulate me with that cheap stage prop? No, it's real. Why, it's not even. Hey, wait a second. It looks like. Can it be? Yes, it is. A miracle. Oh, happy day. Joyous occasion! You have our eternal thanks, good captain. You will be immortalized as the blessed figure that delivered unto us our future. You're welcome. We Stop moaning. We will revere your very likeness. Oh, okay. Let me take the Ultron. Yes, I feel the link, the knowledge, and the power. That there is much to do. Indeed, it seems that you should proceed to the second moon of the <laughs> sixth planet of Zeta Hyades and take what you find there. We no longer have need for it, but thank the you. Ultron reveals that you will. Mm. I thank you for your part in the grand scheme. We now recover that which is ours via destiny and proceed to perform our essential service for the universe. But wait! The Ultron throbs and whistles. Hmm? Matters of significance are being relayed to our brains. <laughs> it has been so long since we communicated with the Ultimate in such a manner, but slowly the truth is revealed. Our destiny! We have been directed to join with our Supox allies and attack you! What? No, wait, that's wrong. Sorry! We attack your enemies! Yes! The Urquan and the Kor'a! Sweet. No, that's not right either. Yes, it is. What? Oh, okay. We must strike only the black ships. Only the core are. Oh, okay. Now, Captain, we must leave to prepare our battle fleets. Wish us luck. Right. I wonder if the uh, the Ultron is actually something. I mean, they said it was actually a. Uh, which was it again? Delta. Here we are, Zeta Hyades. Yeah. So the Ultron is apparently a precursor artifact because it can only be fixed with precursor technology, those spindles and thingies. So, maybe it really is doing something to their brains. I don't know. In any event, here I am, ready to acquire the bomb. All it cost was 100 crew and the self-respect of one starship captain. Is it worth it? What? Those are Drew ships. Fancy meeting you. you here, Captain. You bastards. Justify your presence we, here. We, the appointed representatives of the Crimson Corporation, merely come to obtain the fair and reasonable payment for our goods. We traveled no. to this region of space years ago to sell the useless Ultron device to the Ootwig. We knew even then of the weapon on the surface below us. This was to be our price. But the Ootwing used a clever ploy to cheat us. I had convinced the morose Ootwing fools that the Ultron was the answer to all of their pitiful dreams. Powers, 
The Proctor's wine. Will it give us the powers we crave? I assured them that, yes, the Ultron would give them the second sight. The Ultron would allow them to see into the past and the future. The Ultron would slowly imbue each of them with unique secret powers of great significance. The Ultron would ensure that their race's huge potential for greatness would be fulfilled. Then, then a mistake was made. Enough foolishness. We will take the precursor device from the surface and then leave. Thereafter, I may see fit to bequeath the entire planet to you, Captain. I don't for think your so. For invaluable services in the past, provided you need them. You sought to acquire this artifact by a dishonorable means. Fraud and deception. You do not deserve it. It is rightfully ours. Stand aside. Liar! It is we who are the genuine owners. Not you, Captain. Those many years ago, when we offered the Ultron to the Ultwing, how they capered and laughed at their good fortune. Fools. Then they begged to hold the device, just for a moment. To close the deal, I permitted this. A grievous mistake. The moment the High Prompter touched the Ultron, her body arched and her eyes rolled back in her head. She began to babble meaningless phrases and howl like a beast. We had expected the Ultwig to fall for our cell, to buy the useless device, but never with such gusto. Their self-doubt and lack of clear reason left them vulnerable to our every manipulation. But then, the Proctor's body relaxed, and her eyes slowly closed. When they reopened, her visual orbs shone with a wild and frightening light. This is all we could have dreamed of, and more, she intoned. And now, Drew, as to your price, I opened my mouth to speak. But before I could utter a word, the Proctor interrupted. Wait! The Ultron feeds your thoughts hmm. directly to me. Do not speak. I know that you desire. What could I say? That the Ultron <laughs> was a farce and could do no such thing? I was stunned and silent. The Proctor continued. You drew to the Crimson Corporation desire an object of great antiquity. Something of secret function and value. Very well. It shall be done. And with that, we were led to a small vault. The Proctor ceremoniously opened the door of the vault and explained that because we had been of such great service, all of the treasures within were now ours. Inside, we found a hodgepodge of ancient and useless artifacts, a glowing rod, an absurd trident, and more such junk. I could see no way to salvage the disastrous situation at that time. But, when I heard of you, your travels and your foolish quest for freedom, I realized that you could be the agent of our justice. And lo, it is so. You have heard our justification. It is valid and unassailable. <laughs> now, go, and do not return. You think that is justification? You were the victims of your own stupid fraud, and you think that that gives you the right? God, we will take the device and we'll kill every one of you who gets in our way. No, you will not. We know your soul, young captain. It is no brighter than ours. We acknowledge our greed. We revel in it! You are the dishonest one, hiding your shame and shadows. You fabricate justifications, rationales. In the end, we are just the same. But now you stand in our way. You will not be moved. Therefore, 
We will add your true name to our ledger of hatred. But first, die, child, die! I'm not like you. I do this to save our people from destruction. You do it for your own personal greed. Okay. I don't know the capabilities of these ships, so I've got to be careful. Go! Let's send in a... Seem to have Go. long Go. range weaponry. Ah. I've got an intruder. Uh, Space Marine in there. Oh, didn't do too much damage. Oh, those are powerful weapons. Go, go, go. Send out as many go. Space Marines as you can. Okay, now. Okay, these guys are fast. Weaponry seems to be just about as Fuck. Damn it. Okay, let's try... Let's try a spathy ship. Fuck. Don't know how to fight these guys. I should have saved. Whoa, what are you screaming about? Yes! Effective. Now I think there were five of them. Whoa! God, just barely got out of range. Damn it. Sick bastards don't even understand how wrong you are. Commit fraud and think that gives you the right to this device. Makes me sick. I'll never say a bad word about the Melnomay again. You guys make the Ferengi look honourable. Fast. Really fast. If I fly in close and then use the hyperspace function, I can uh, now actually there's a tr if I get close to the planet, I have an inertial ship, you see, so I'm not affected by gravity. Now the only time I'm probably find it, I can't find the fucking planet. Damn! I lost another irreplaceable ship. I don't know how I'm gonna kill these guys. Let's, let's try a... one of these stingers. Lose this fight. This is... Go, 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 go. God damn it. Let's try another spassy. I 
I may just have to reload and proceed back to this point. Should have just saved at the encounter. <coughs> Spathy ships seem like the best match for these creatures. I shouldn't have tried to warp away when I did. I think I had a Melna my ship. They'd know how to deal with these guys. Seems they were right about them after all. Damn it! Alright, I'm gonna bring in the Serenity. Oh shit, I haven't got much crew for this thing. This is not gonna go well. <laughs> Funny I hadn't traded those 100 crew, but then I wouldn't really be in this situation, would I? too great a cost. 